Hello, my name is Rama. I'm the director of the Helen Hamlin Centre for Design at London's Royal College of Art. It's a great pleasure to shoot this video for all of you in Alicante. I hope you're enjoying warmer weather than we are in London. The conference is incredibly important because when we think of art and design, quite often we don't think of education. And we need to think about education in a couple of different ways. We need to look at the power of practitioner teaching. We need to look at what does education actually mean? What does a practice-based art or design PhD actually look like? And what does teaching mean both for those who are doing the teaching and for those who are being taught? I'm a great advocate for practitioner-based approaches alongside theoretical frameworks and other avenues. The power of the practitioner is this. Practitioners bring a certain sense of skill, a certain sense of knowledge. They bring a depth of experience, a depth of working. They bring that um, experience into the classroom. I found when I was a student that the lecturers, the professors, the teachers that delivered some of the greatest insights, it was born in that fire of experience. It was that crucible of actual thinking, of actual working that led to the greatest understanding. So some suggestions for the conference when we think about considerations around education is how do we bring a practice-based experience into the classroom and into the studio? How do we take students, learners out of the studio? How do we democratize the experience of learning so that it's not just about BA or MA teaching but how does this translate into the workplace? How does this go into the realm of executive education? I think education is a lifelong experience. We never stop learning, we never stop teaching, and we never stop doing. So how can we enable this? How can art and design be on the forefront of these conversations? We are bleeding edge practitioners. We are thinking edge practitioners. And we need to look at the commonalities with science, technology, engineering and maths. But we also need to celebrate those differences. These would be some of the topics that I would love to hear discussed. And these are some of the provocations that I want to add into the mix. So wishing you all happy discussions, new discoveries and new experiences.